Cancer Leo to your beginning of the month reading for June. Hope your friends are doing great out there. If your friends like this, please like and subscribe. Okay, friends. I am doing the beginning of the month first before the Astro Dice. Yes, it is a little strange. Probably not only for me, but for you as well. Um, the reason I'm doing it this way is because we do have the new coming energy coming in from Saturn becoming retrograde. So it's really starting to affect people between, it could be even now, you know, at the 29th, somewhere between the 29th and the 31st, all the way to the 1st or the 2nd of the month as it's getting ready to retrograde. So we're bringing in some um, shocking new shifts in energy um, placements within each sign. So, okay, friends, let's get in here and see what's going on with you. So the Astro Dice will be next. Um, so... <laughs> going to be a little different, but it, it'll work. Okay, let's see what's going on. This message is talking about new beginnings. Wow. So really, you you know, a lot of you probably are feeling this cycle shift um, as Mercury retrograde is getting ready to um, go into the sh shadow side to turn back again. Um, and then having this Saturn start to retrograde coming in, uh, really feeling this, this energy, kind of maybe a pull or a tug, um, shifting however you want to see it, um, however you feel it. Um, but this is going to give you a better grasp on things um, that are coming. You have fulfillment of wishes, disharmony, feeling a little emotional loss. But within you have the spiritual union, Spiritual strength, nice, within the partnerships and alliances. So the partnerships and alliances, remember, this doesn't have to be love. This could be your loved ones, right? Your co-workers uh, with partnerships and alliances, your friends, your loved ones, uh, however platonic that it might be. It doesn't have to be love itself. Um, having the fulfillment of wishes over here, though, next to the disharmony, is kind of like where there's this pull and tug of... Um, disharmony that it feels like I just want this to end with this new beginning so it does feel like there could be an, an ending coming to this whether you make it happen or not how is it that you know you're doing it because um, it's causing a lot of emotional loss in the very beginning of the month I'm still feeling a little pained by the situation um, it feels like it's just a temporary setback until you actually start feeling united with this person um, or within yourself enough to get away from the person we'll see how that goes however that resonates. It's a slow and persistent energy. Um, yeah, there it is again. Uh, but I'm not escaping this situation. I'm just going with the flow of the situation because I know that it's only streamlining right now. So it does feel like there could be whoever you're dealing with. Maybe they're acting a little out of control, um, especially as you have this Saturn getting ready to retrograde. Um, it's going to pull in these kind of um, nasty love relationship type of habits. Um, It's just definitely an energy that has to do with relationships because it's in that, that house of love, right? I always call the, the, the Saturn retrograde, you know, the house of broken love um, because it wants to bring in sometimes exes where it's almost like you said, well, my ex didn't come back in Mercury retrograde, but now it says, oh, the house of broken love. I'm starting to feel it. I'm starting to feel the emotional loss. I'm starting to feel these tugs and these urges or this or that or however it is. Oh my gosh, there it is with the two of cups. So it's saying, yeah, and it's almost like through the disharmony, they're trying to harmonize. How do you do that? It's like, you know that there is underneath all of this love for this person, um, but the way that they treat you or the way that they do things is not proper. Um, so it's definitely going to be one of those things that you're going to kind of want to escape from, but you're not really 100% escaping Meaning you might close the door, go into your bedroom, you know, settle down, um, get away for a while, maybe hermit out a little bit, but I'm not really leaving anywhere, right? I'm not really, really going anywhere. And this is because there's a lot of manipulation that's coming through this person um, that you're just feel like, there, here it goes again. They're starting to fall into place again. They're starting to do whatever they did before. Um, and it's, it's, it's a bad thing, right? It causes emotional damage and emotional loss um, because you're saying, why? Why? You know, we had fixed this. I thought we were okay for a while, um, but it just seems to 
be maybe a back and forth energy. Uh, maybe they play the blame game on, you know, on you. You know, well, damn it, you always make me mad. Okay, that's, no, maybe you're just a mad person or easily triggered. Um, I do feel like this person, whoever it is, could be easily triggered, um, meaning that they could go to work, have somebody get, you know, upset with them at work or things didn't go good and then they want to come home and bring it home with them. Um, you know what I'm saying? And it's kind of a backlash. Um, I do feel that. Uh, with the Nine of Cups coming in, though, as we're you're gradually getting towards the sixth over here, things are looking better. Uh, things are kind of looking up, right? They're like I said, it's almost like they're streamlining for this, you know, for this time. It's it's not something that's going to stay, uh, but you're going to get a better grasp on this on this situation for yourself, right? By doing more day to day activities, doing things that you love, putting the passion out, and really unifying yourself with yourself for the things that you really love, uh, really love and enjoy. Um, it, it, there's a lot of growth over here within the spiritual growth, and this is just you really finding your place um, at this time um, while they're, they're wanting to be angry. Um, or, you know, like I said, it doesn't matter if it's coworkers, whoever it is. Um, but there does feel like it's definitely some head-to-head -head kind of combat, right? So if you are dealing with some kind of areas, you might feel like they're kind of trying to headbutt you a little bit. Um, okay, so if there's a lot of worry and discontent going on within the situation of the emotional loss because they've tried to put you in your head. But it says going towards the fifth, the sixth of the month, this is where you're going to finally try to free yourself from this situation, right? Really feeling like, you know, I'm more hungry for progress for my own life than worrying about what you're doing, right? So it almost feels like there's this, I don't know, I feel kind of like a hunger going on for this is what I want to achieve. Maybe it's because you are trying to achieve this to actually escape this person. Um, you know, it depends on the person. Um, but however it is, it feels like you're really putting the smack down on your work and the things that you want your goals for, not really working so much for the partnership and alliance towards this person. So really embracing what it is that you really want within your life um, and kind of bringing in your own healing um, towards the, uh, the sixth of, you know, and it might even be the seventh, right? But you're trying to kind of dig down um, within yourself. And maybe it's because you have this kind of vivid picture of, I already know this energy, I already know that they're setting themselves up for this situation or setting me up for this situation because I already feel the flow. I already feel this energy tug. Um, it just, you know, but it just feels like right now they're in a place where they, they feel like, well, you don't understand what I'm going through. So it does feel a little heavier than normal. Um, and I think that's what the, the problem is here is that the energy that they're giving out is a little heavier than normal. Um, they're acting like nobody understands where they're coming from. Um, even if you tell them you understand, they still don't get it. So they try to get you stuck within energy, um, right, as you're trying your hardest um, to get through these difficult emotions and mental state um, that's going on. Um, try to bring back the passion for yourself with your own nine. And there it is, bringing back the passion for yourself, really racing towards your goal, manifesting what it is you really need, and really taking a step up towards what it is you really truly want and deserve. And it feels like you're really pouring your heart out um, for this as well. Um, and this is because you see the backlash going on and it's almost to the point where it's like, um, it almost feels like a done energy, right? So the only thing that you can really do to have a breakthrough is to really put yourself into the center, um, kind of the center of everything for yourself. So in its own way, it's almost kind of like making your own kind of transformation within the things that you really want, um, because it's definitely bringing in some really difficult emotions for you as it's really coming into, um, into full swing over here with this retrograde coming up. Hmm. So yeah, definitely they are trying to drag you down. So you don't, you don't want that energy. You want to stay on top of your goals and stay where you need to be. And that's what Spirit's really whole message is here. Do not allow this person to drag you down into their pity poor 
feel sorry for me or I'm pissed off energy. However, that energy is. Because it's going to be a powerful energy that's coming up for this person. This person's really getting affected by this energy. Uh, look for this sign. As uh, Spirit says, because you will know. And yes, is your answer. And take action uh, for the opportunity within the next few months. Okay, because the next few months, it could be back and forth within this energy, my friends. Because, you know, that Saturn's going to be retrograded until, I think, October. I think that's what it is. September. Something like that. Um, not really 100. I didn't get that much detail on it just yet. Um, you can always Google that, um, you know, to find that answer. Um, but it does feel like this is where they're going to swing. This is where the energy swings at you just out of the blue. Like, why? Um, and what's actually happening with the Emperor upside down is it might have been that, that this is normal for them. But now with the Emperor upside down, it's almost intolerable. It's almost to the point where it's like so bad that it's hard to even want to be at the home, at the workplace, around this person, this friend, however it is. So you're kind of, instead of really 100% escaping and saying we're not going to be friends anymore or anything like that, it's almost like you're kind of just closing the book or I'm not going to answer your text while you're acting like this. Um, so that's what it's kind of saying, right? I'm just kind of hiding out a little bit. And they're going to notice that you're hiding out. And I wouldn't be surprised for some of you if they don't already know you're hiding out. And they're kind of chasing you to answer this. Are you going to answer my question or what? Stop hiding. Um, but it's, you know, because it almost feels like because of the retrograde, it's like in a full force swing. Um, which you've been doing so good throughout the lunar eclipse and the Mercury retrograde itself. Um, but now with this swing energy coming through, like I said, Spirit's like, I want you to keep going forward for what you really want. Do not allow this energy to interfere um, and make any negative emotions coming out of you. Just kind of, you know, throw that away because you know how they are anyways. So that's what they want you to do. Keep going forward for your dreams. Okay. And that was it for you, my friends. Until next time. Peace and love. Bye-bye.